hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can create environment variables in react native so here as you can see i have a project and in this project this country state and city list are coming from an api and to use that api we need to have an api key and currently that api key is present in this app.js file but that is not how you should use your api key you should have a separate file to store all these confidential informations and then you need to import that into this file or any other file where it is required and in this project as you can see initially we are getting this list this country list here and then if we select any country then we will get the list of states which is generating this state drop down list and that will be similar for the city as well as i haven't selected any state yet so that's why the city drop down is blank if i select any state then you can see here again we got some response and here we can see the list right so that's how our app is working and that is how we have called the api in this app and after creating the environment variables it will work as it is so that is what i'm going to implement in this tutorial and if you are wondering about this project i have already published this tutorial on this channel so if you want to watch this tutorial then you can do it by the link given in the i icon of this video or you can check out the video from the description below so if you are interested in these kinds of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started So to create environment variables in react native first we need to install a package called react native.env so here i am going to copy this command and paste it here and now hit enter so it has been installed and now after that we need to copy this code and use that in babel.config.js file or if you have this dot babel rc file there also you can use that and here let me paste that and we don't need those curly braces and also with that i will get rid of these things because these things are not that much required as you can see also here they have mentioned this blacklist whitelist already have been deprecated instead they are using these things but still these things are present so i am getting rid of these things we need just these things so in my case i need to add this section only so i will provide this code in the description below or else you can check out the project i will provide the github link of this project and from there also you can get these codes so now save this and after saving it let's create a file called dot env at the root path of the project and here we need to create the environment variable so i am creating environment variable called api key and to create the environment variable you have to use the uppercase letters and don't provide any space here now let me copy the api key from my project to here and also notice that i haven't provided this in a quotation so without any quotation and without any space you need to provide the value and the variable now save the file and after that here in the app.js let's import from at env and here we need to provide that variable now we can use this instead of the hard coded api key here we can provide the variable api key and similar thing for every section now save this one and here we can see we have an error and that error is that at env could not be found and that is what i have used to import i have seen this problem after doing the setup properly it doesn't recognize it immediately so we need to restart the project sometime it works so let's 
rebuild the project by using this npx react native command. But again as you can see here it is still showing the same error message. And that also happens sometimes. It happened to me before also. In this case we need to restart our computer. So let me restart my computer and then we will give it a try. Ok so I have already restarted my computer and I have opened my project. Here you can see I have got the response. So let me show it to you. Let's reload the app. So after reloading here first we are seeing the country list response but we don't have the state and city right. So after selecting the country we will have the response for the state as well and here you can see for the state API call also I have this API key from env so it is present there. So let's select the country. After selecting the country here we can see already state list has been generated right and then after selecting the state the city is also coming so it's working perfectly fine right so that is how you need to implement the environment variable so here I can do some other thing as well like I can create this base URL and I can import that base URL here and then we can use it. So here let's use the base URL. Okay, I will use the slash here. So let's remove it from here. Okay, so I have just implemented this only for countries. So let's reload it and after reloading we have got the response successfully so it's working perfectly well here as well so now let's quickly change the things here so here i will use base url and also in handle city as well okay so it is completely changed with the environment variables now finally reload our app select the country now select the state and then we have this city list generated so it's all working perfectly well so that's how we can create the environment variables and this is how we need to implement it in our react native project so i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye